Greetings from Snake Mountain Boat Works on Monday, September 26, 2022. Here's an update on ECRA. 22-foot Shepherd Runabout. We're in the process of removing her V-Drive Chrysler engine. And, uh, well, I'm just going to hand it off to Joe, let him share with you the horror stories and the potentially lethal situation with the way this boat was wired and presented to us. So, so far what I've seen, um, not only was it set up for standard um, regular ground, but it was also set up for positive ground. There was two different star setups for all the wiring. There was, like I said, there was your positive ground, which some boats are like that, but never have I seen one that's negative and a positive ground. So there's two different kinds of electrical systems in this boat, which is really scary. The two solenoids? And there, yeah, there's two different solenoids. There's one on the starter and there is one wired back here for some apparent reason, which I'll never know why. Um, but another really horrifying thing is these engine mounts. They're supposed to have rubber in between them. That's solid. So I'm assuming at one point, uh, the rubber mounts probably rotted out where they need to be changed instead of getting new rubber mounts. Somebody took and just cut off a slab of steel for all four of them. And when you do that, that's allowing all that vibration from your motor to go through your entire boat instead of having uh, the rubber as shock absorbers. Um, so as of right now, um, every time this engine ran, it was just rattling the whole boat apart. And on top of that, um, just by looking in here, the bilge panel back here in the floor is completely oil soaked. And the bilge itself um, is, I mean, it's pretty bad. I'm pulling chunks of grease out of oil from the bottom of the boat, just like this. And it's gone through, just from the engine back here, from this frame back, every frame is completely oil soaked. So I'm assuming the lowest point of the boat is actually going to be even worse than directly under the motor. Um, but the only way to find out is once we start getting the rest of the floor up, we'll be able to see exactly what we're dealing with. But as of right now, it's it's pretty bad. I haven't seen one this oil soaked in a while. Well, being oil soaked uh, doesn't say good things about the viability of those frames, does it? No, not at all. I mean, and... <laughs> For some cases, the framing on this, I don't, I don't understand why in the bilge, they're, they're actually not the hugest frames I've ever seen. Well, the other Shepherd was like that too. Right. Uh, they really scrimped on, that's funny, because Shepherd boats are supposed to be so stoutly built, yet the frame members we've seen in the ones we've done are, well, you can see them down here. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's three quarter inch stock. Yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of nerve wracking with such a big motor and being such a big boat. I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of scary. <laughs> well, our goal for today is to get this all cleaned out in here. And uh, we'll leave the ceilings on for now. It'll add a little stiffness. Uh, we will brace across the hull, uh, across the gunnels about halfway up. And once we get the engine out, we're going to roll. Oh, there's the... <laughs> It's interesting how all three of us are being shy about that windshield because those that's molded glass. And yes, you can find molded glass. I believe somewhere in Tennessee or South Carolina, North Carolina, there's a, an outfit that is molding glass. Um, the last time I priced one and then shared the number with the shepherd owner, uh, the answer came back, Plexi is fine. And... We don't want to break these. They're original. So we'll keep working and hope that by the end of the day or maybe by the end of tomorrow, we'll be able to have her upside down and we'll start taking the bottom planks out and we'll go from there. That's our update on ECRA, our 22-foot Shepherd runabout. Thank you so much. Bye-bye for now from Snake Mountain Boatworks.